Hello everyone, Vito Zay, afraid to be back yet with another deck review for you. This is the Spirit Plane cards from Gambler's Warehouse. Um, looks pretty cool. Let's just look at the top cases for a little bit. The first one is the blue and silver deck, bicycle branded. Of course it says bicycle, trusted since 1885 on top. Spirit on the bottom, nice silver foil embossing, nice spade tip. Um, and all sorts of nice details. It's a very dark blue, navy blue. It was supposed to be a lighter blue, the cards and everything, but unfortunately, it looks almost black. <laughs> I can compare that to you. You can see that. Uh, then there's this white one, white gold, unbranded. It is printed by USBC. Uh, it's got gold foil embossing. It just says Spirit, has a spade pit. Um, as you can see, there is a couple of keys within the spade pit that have a spade pit uh, end on it. And then the last one is the very limited edition, only 1100 produced, of this uh, black deck. It's got red foil embossing on the spade pit and spirit. And also little spade pits in the corners in red foil. And you can see, you got all the, the details there just like this in the background, actually more like this one, but all those little details in there, but it's just it's hard to see because it's gray on black. Uh, on the sides, Gambler's Warehouse in Dallas, Texas, with those keys again. The other side, these two say Air Custom Finish, making it safe, and this one is printed by Expert Point Cards that says Master Finish Design in USA. If it's hard to read, the top says spirit if foil embossing and the keys as well. The bottom, uh, these two, well, this one says distributed by playing cards on that by Gambler's Warehouse. This one just says playing cards on that by Gambler's Warehouse. They both have the playing cards on that logo. This one has a barcode. This one has bicycle trademark stuff, obviously, or bicycle USB C info. And then the other one, the black one, can't even read it. Yay, dominoes. Um, it says produced by Gambler's Warehouse. Playing cards on that, made in Taiwan, or expert playing cards. And instead of the logo, they got those two keys on there. And there's also a recycling logo. The backs. See the back design on all of them. This one's in silver foil with embossing. This one, gold foil. And this one, you see the, the artwork, and then there's red foil on the keys. And then the, the pips in the corners. And there's a custom seal. It has those keys and it's number 805 out of 1100. <clears throat> and no seals on these two. I should mention that the material on this white top case is different than on this one. I don't know why that is. You'd think it'd be the same. Yeah, it's got foil embossing and you know, I don't know. It's different. It's just doing enough. This one as well. The, the pole strip on the cellophane actually worked. Which never happens with USB-C decks. Which makes me wonder who packaged this in the tub case and who wrapped it in cellophane because it was not USB-C standard cellophane because they do not open. It does not work. There's a pull strip thing on there, but it doesn't work. It doesn't, it's useless. So it's kind of weird. Uh, let's look at the decks. Bicycle trademark stuff on the flap on this one, of course. And here we got silver foil spades and then inside you get the spade pattern throughout and also these keys you'll see that in all of them inside you do get the gap card it's half queen of hearts half king of hearts uh, i guess that does that make it a, a transvestite gap card i don't know as you can see, there is silver metallic inks on the faces. 
not quite sure about the backs. I know on the Kickstarter page it said metallic inks on the backs, but this is the faces. But it's nice nonetheless. Here's your back design. Really cool. Despite the blue border with white faces. You do get a double backer as well. And then we get to the cards. The Jokers. This one says Joker in the corners in black. And you can see it's got the keys and the crown and silver details within there. And all four pips on the bottom there as well. The other Joker is the same except Joker in the corners is in a dark blue. And you also got blue details here in the center instead of silver. So it's a nice little contrast. The aces, very nice. This one's got the keys within it and this looks really cool. As you can see, it got these nice architectural type borders and metallic inks right around on the faces. Hearts and diamonds are in a blue color. Although it looks kind of black, but it's it's not. It's just it's really hard to distinguish. That's one of my minor complaints about this. Is it's hard to distinguish between the suit colors. Nice aces though, nice chokers, court cards, very nice, kind of a, a modern take on classic court cards. You will see in this deck there is no one-eyed jacks or one-eyed kings or anything like that. They're all facing right at you, looking right at you. It's actually kind of looking similar from one to the other, but no one-eyed jacks or anything like that. There is a suicide king though, right there. I did the number cards, custom pips, and orientations of the pips. And that's that. Right, let's get rid of these. Let's look at the next deck. The white and gold deck, we'll call it. This one on the flap. You do got some different details. There's no your bicycle trademark stuff. Nice embossing as you can see. Again, the spade pips and foil. And then again, the same thing on the inside. As the other one at all, it looks like they they glued these flaps together reversed or something. I don't know. Even in the bottom. This one, as you can see, you get gold metallic inks. And again, you get the same gaff card. Half Queen of Hearts, half King of Hearts. You'll see this one, the hearts and diamonds are in a burgundy type color. And here's your back, very nice. Could be metallic ink, so I don't know. It's hard to tell, but it's nice. Same back design. You do get a double backer again. Get rid of those, put those aside. And the Jokers, again, kind of the same thing. This one says Joker in black, and it's got gold here in the center circle. And it's metallic inks. This one, Joker, is in burgundy, as is that color here in the center. So again, contrast. And then you get the same thing for the aces. It's different colors. It seems to be a little bit hard to make out the colors. Excuse me, I apologize. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. It's kind of a burgundy color for the aces. The court cards, again, more the same. But different colors. Very nice. Um, I guess I'll just show you a few. I don't really need to see the whole thing, do you? <laughs> And then, we'll look at this one, the black one. On the flap of this one, you get the keys. And here again, foil spade tips. And the inside again, the same as the other ones. And then, you get to the cards. Again, you get the same gaff card. You can see these got kind of gray and red colors. Really nice. Here's your backs. They actually got red foil in the backs. 
really cool. You do get a double backer, however, it's only got the foil on the one side. The other side has no foil, so it's not even a good double backer because it's only, well, only half matches, as you can see. But it's nice that they got that foil in there anyway. Um, the Jokers are also different. It says Joker in the two corners in white. And as you can see, it's a mirror image clown. He's got clown makeup on. He's got all four pips on his outfit there. And then the other Joker is the same, except it's got colors. And Joker is red. The Aces, again, the same, except spades and clubs are in white. This time around, hearts and diamonds in red. And you can see there's no metallic inks because they do got the foil instead. And these ones, obviously, you can distinguish between the hearts and the diamonds, or the, the reds and the, the blacks. You can actually see the foil embossing, the foil right through the card. It's not even embossing, but it just, it's thicker than the card, obviously. Court cards, more of the same. Spades and clubs and just in grays. Hearts and diamonds have red colors. A little bit nicer. And yeah, it's like kind of the same thing for the number cards. Overall, pretty cool decks. Um, overall, I'll give the decks a solid four and a half out of five for the artwork. I really like it. It's nicely done. Well, you know what? I will say actually, I want to say four and a half, but I will say four and a quarter instead out of five for your artwork. Just because I would like to see a little bit more this, a little bit more difference between the red suits and the black suits. I'm not seeing that. Uh, the hearts and diamonds in the in the blue deck. Quite dark blue color. Um and on this deck it's a red color, but again. Uh, burgundy type color, but again, it's kind of dark So it's not very easily distinguishable On the black deck it is but the black deck then the problem is The details the artwork is not highly distinguishable because it's gray on black So it's just it's minor minor, but it's still annoying a little bit and also uh, It would be nice if it was a little bit more distinguishable on the tuck case that it was blue and on the cards I mean the cards I can see is blue but the tuck case a little bit harder people think it's black that's not outside of that I do like the artwork very much I like the court cards I like the metallic inks the back design is nice simple classic looking yet completely custom and everything I do like the foil on those the black deck on the cards so you know it's a good solid effort uh, I apologize for this review being a bit long on Friday. End it. As far as the handling is concerned, they handle very nice. I'll say four out of five. And uh, as far as usability is concerned, that might be hurt a little bit by the fact that some of the, the suits are not as distinguishable. But, it's not bad, so I will say 4 out of 5, usability. Overall, I'll say 4 out of 5. These decks, you can probably get them at collectiblepointcards.com, not 100% sure. 
Uh, even when you go there, you use the code BJ's eight fifty two, and you get ten percent off your order each and every time. So it's a good deal. That's what I got. I'll see you next time with more reviews.